Let's take a look at the Chinese game here. This puppy paw playing as the Chinese in the color orange. Against Beastie playing as the English in the signature color yellow that he, he always use. He always use. Both civilizations very good in the late game. And there's always a possibility that Beastie wants to put a heavy pressure into the Chinese economy very early on. I don't know if that's quite his style. I have a feeling that he's a English king type of guy, which uh, he's very, very good at the late game. He may try to lay things for the late game. And boss civilizations are really good. Are really, really good at it. By the way, is the, is the colors really annoying? Is this better? The problem with this is I cannot really change the the point of view of the player. That's that's a reason, but just because of the biome is already yellowish. It's a uh, maybe a bit hard to see. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I I don't see Beastie playing as the super aggro guy. That's not his style. So I will expect going him for a second town center as well in this situation probably and if he you know there's always a room where you want to strike the chinese in the in the castle age where it's where they go for the farms and i think in this map it's just really hard to get the food all the food sources are just very spread out uh, usually here at the mill you have quite a lot of food we don't have a crazy berry bushes pound here it's sometimes you have it like you have a crazy amount of berry bushes and you need to secure and we do have quite a lot of small deer packs spread to the whole map and that's not a issue for the english but it is quite an issue for the chinese and for the chinese before they make their farm transition it's where they are the most vulnerable and I think that's where Beastie will strike here. And let's see how Papi Paul will, uh, will just deal with the situation here. I don't think it's gonna... It's gonna... It's not gonna be easy. It's not, it's not gonna be easy. But... Yeah, yeah, lose just like I said. Abbey of Kings. It's it's out there. For, for Beastie gonna have the king just to harass the economy. Forcing Poppy Pop probably to, you know, make some units to defend. We're having plenty of sheep. That's a good thing about this map. You can get quite a lot of sheep. BC also having not 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 as many sheep, but you know you, you don't really need it. Already getting that some for that second town center. And Imperial Academy is up. Imperial official. It's actually Bobby Paul didn't didn't open with an Imperial official. He skipped Imperial official in the field age, in the dark age, which is it's quite interesting. Uh, there are some controversial opinions about this, like it may, may uh, some people say that. You know, extra 20% is just, uh, it's not worth, uh, it's, it's just worth it all the way. It's just 20% that you have, you, you, you just extend the, the life of your ship, of your food for quite a long time. But I understand that he wants to get that feral age as soon as possible. Now there is a weird world. Where the Chinese actually go fast castle. And I don't dislike the idea. <laughs> but I don't think it's it's gonna be that this kind of game. Now Papi can just walk here. And with the Barbican here and the town center, I think he don't need to make any unit. Just needs to put a small wall here. Now BC is a little bit behind. He's it's just finishing uh, 
not behind. I mean, Papi Pa is a little bit behind because Beast is already finishing the town center. And Papi Pa is just starting. He's just starting to get the stone for it. Now, King not gonna be arriving on time. And probably Papi Pa will get enough stone for before the night arrives. So, I, I don't think a wall is, is really needed in this case. I don't think he's gonna go for that 30 C. He knows a knight will arrive and he already putting 11 villagers on the stone just to get all the stone that he needs. And fun fact, Chinese Indy is the only civilization in the game that can actually gather stone from one so stone uh, source and have enough stone for a keep if they use the Imperial official. Uh, which is quite nice to be honest. You don't need to go out in the map to to secure your your keep in the future if you need it. But a wall is coming here. And I think BC won't be able to do much damage with this king. He's already there trying to find some villagers, but he's not gonna be able to find anything. Luckily for him, he didn't spend much. He didn't spend much resources. It's just a king. It's free. We take it. But he won't be able to harass. Meanwhile, Papiko. Already macroing for getting that second town center. We're getting very slow games today, right? The last one was kind of slow too. And I really like this lack of split for the Chinese. Just because with a single Imperial official. Oh wait a second, this Imperial official doesn't doesn't show up here. Oh. It's a bummer. Now I will never know if he really did open up with an Imperial official or not. I, I wasn't I, I'm sure he didn't. But anyway, second town center is up, and I don't think he needs to go for a third one. He's already on Song Dynasty, so that puts him ahead. Um, he's still slow but steady, getting his farms. Th thinking about getting that castle -ish. And he doesn't need any unit. And the king, while the villagers are protected, the king just... He just doesn't care, you know? He's gonna snipe villagers. And if... Some... Yeah, if he gets some damage, he can always come back. Nice blocking, coming from Papi Pao, blocking the king's path to just protect that villager, which is quite nice. He's gonna go for the berries now. Still have plenty of sheep for him, which is really, really good. And he's as well macroing for going that castle age. And while the English playing farm, farm build simulation. King coming for another raid, not gonna be able to grab any villager. He's very well protected. Having a village here, town centers, Barbican. It's it's gonna be really hard. It's just gonna be really hard to get any kind of villager. But I guess I, I you know, you you, you can kind of force the the opponent to to just micro his units. A very quick reaction for Papi Pao. I will have already lost the villager. <laughs> the king is just really committed to to get that uh, to get that kill. That's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Astronomical clock tower coming up for Papi Pao. Already rushing it with twelve villagers. BC getting the king's palace. I, I think this is the right choice. Definitely. I mean, you, White Tower, what for? Like, your opponent doesn't have any military units. I think you can get away with being a little bit greedy. Going for a third town center. And considering your opponent, it's on the Song Dynasty. Um, I think it's, it's quite good for you. It's quite good for you. Like Papi Pao will now will have to move in the map. I'm gonna start getting a little bit exposed. I'm gonna grab that deer. 
Meanwhile, Knights starting to produce and potentially thinking about getting a monastery soon. As soon as he has the wood for it. Meanwhile, Beastie sending up some walls. Just in case a knight arrives to his base. You don't really want to do that. You don't really, really want to be in that situation. A knight once again. Try to snipe a villager. For forcing the villagers to go back. But looks like the knight will be forced to go back for now. Meanwhile, Monastery already out. Getting super pies. This is really accurate to the to the actual workforce of China we were just talking before. Just work. Work the whole day, man. Just work the whole day. More eagle upgrades coming for Beastie. Just living the time of his life now. King's Palace, 2TC. Two, uh, two Infinite food economy. Now, the problem with not going for the White Tower, and this is just a problem now, is that you don't you don't have any production building. And most likely, people will get away with getting all the relics. It's already getting the first relic. And it has another monk. And go right there. Next to very, very greedy, but he can get it for sure. Beastie just rushing that monastery to see if he can get any relic for himself. It looks like Papi Paul will just go back for now, play safe. A couple of relics are already there for him. Beastie patrolling this area just to protect this far relic and. This one is quite far to be honest, but still should be in Papi Paw's favor. So I think Papi Paw is in a really good position. I think Beastie's gun may potentially get away with one relic, two at most. And Papi Paw is already sending some knights there. Beastie won't be able to protect it. And I wouldn't be surprised at this point if, if Beastie just go for a for Berkshire. It's like, if you want to play the long game, might as well go to Imperial with the English. Enough Lancers here just to take down the King. And with that, the Monk will try to grab that Relic. King won't be able to do much. Meanwhile, food resources for Papipo are running out. And this is what I was talking about earlier. It's just with the Chinese, everything is wonderful. Until the food runs out. Deer is about to run out. Still have some berries. But you need to secure those food resources. Uh, as soon as possible. Because with China, you need a lot of food to sustain the two town center. Song Dynasty. It's just too much food. And Papi Pao will try to go for a raid, but not gonna happen here. Looks like he will pull back for now. I think now he's really thinking about this is what I think it is is this really a fast Imperial oh never mind but he's gonna secure the this is gonna be the area for the granaries that's what we know so far that's what we know so far let's take a look at the income per minute looks like he's saving for for that Imperial age and he's getting away with Four relics for himself, so I I think he, he's gonna hit that Imperial Age button very very soon. And so is the English player. Gonna love that Berkshire. I will be surprised if he doesn't go for Berkshire because there is nothing protecting the food economy, which is extremely important for the English players. I will be very very surprised, especially when you're talking about the late game. With those palace guards flooding into your base with the Yuan Dynasty, then you're you're gonna you're gonna wish you have those those keeps those that Berkshire in your base. There's plenty of gold here, I I think. 
if he wants to secure the future, <laughs> he may potentially put the barracks right here. Because that's a lot of gold. There's no gold actually in the east side of the map. This is extremely weird. Sacred site's gonna be captured. No, if you don't, cannot have the relics, at least give me the sacred site. And indeed, it is a great wall gatehouse. Ready to protect the farm transition that Pavipal is gonna have soon. I already have with 96 villagers. Definitely gonna be having a really smooth farm transition. This is what a farm transition looks like. There you go. First granary out. Meanwhile, sacred sites. A recapture here. Gonna decap the, the one in the east. And Papi Pao gonna go for a raid. Looks like there is no opening here. And decides to pull back for now. Does PC know about the A-Shop? He's about to know soon. He's about to know soon. Why is this 31 villagers building? But wait a second. Oh, it's villagers that cannot repair the. Uh, that's uh, such a such a problem with a Great Wall Gatehouse. That what happens is that there is not enough space for the villagers to build a Great Wall Gatehouse. So it doesn't matter how many villagers you put. There's always gonna be a limit of how many can actually build it. And Berkshire, it's indeed gonna be in a very juicy spot. Not gonna be totally aggressive. I'm still protecting some farms that can potentially go behind the base. But he's indeed going to be protecting at least these two gold veins and more side of his, uh, eventually, more buildings that will go there potentially. Iron chat coming up for Beastie. And looks like finally we're going to have some action after 17 minutes. Oh my god. 17 minutes in the game. And with pretty much the gate, right wall gatehouse, farm transition is pretty much secure, even with no units. So I kind of like this move. I don't think you're gonna benefit from the from the other landmark, which was a... Uh... What was that landmark? There you go. Spirit, oh, spirit way. Keep coming here to defend the gold. And BC already in the Imperial Age, getting enclosures as soon as possible. And potentially building a lot of barracks. There you go. Mass man at arms is what the doctor recommends for the English. Always feels good about being the English and having a lot of man at arms. Big wall coming for Beastie. Big stone wall, actually. What players delaying the game quite a lot? That's a lot of nests of Beastie. That's a lot of nest of these. Now, the bad thing about putting the Berkshire here... It's like, yeah, you may secure the gold. But your food economy is very exposed. I mean, town centers, not gonna... Not gonna be with, uh, you know, the best for defending rates. Compared to the Berkshire. So... Your food economy is kind of exposed. Stonewall coming soon, I think. Probably. For BC. And BC military numbers starting to look quite good already. I don't think he can do any kind of damage now. I mean, all the economy for Papi Pao is already back in his base. And he's very well protected by those nests of peace. Just a couple of monks chilling out. An Imperial Palace coming up for Papi Pao. I wonder where. There you go. Just here. Gonna be having the that UN Dynasty and extra moves speed for those palace guards. Let's take a look at how many barracks he has. Only three so far. He's not ready for the full transition of mass palace guards. But this area is very exposed to those pilot cars. Uh, this is the... There are not many ways that you can hurt the English in this situation. If there is one, it's this one. You need to go here. And you need a lot of palace cards. 
Because there, there's, there's just no keep there to protect the English economy. A lot of man at arms, just taking down more villagers. <laughs> Mass nest of peace. <laughs> yeah. Nest of peace only challenge, probably. I remember I had a time where... I remember it was this epic moment when I transitioned to, to Diamond. Uh, quite a some time ago already. It was this definitive match. If I lose, I stay in Platinum forever. If I win, I will be in Diamond forever. And the guy just makes 16 Nest of Bees. Like, this is your average Chinese player. It's like more ramps coming for Beastie. And at this point, I, I guess Imperial Age is just a game of just a lot of map control. A lot of map control. Already Papi Pa securing that stone, he's, he's gonna need. Nest of Beast gonna show superiority. The scout. And now. Is he just gonna go there, take down that keep? Maradams are already elite, so they're gonna be quite tanky. Elite army tactics coming soon for him as well. Nest of Beasts, gonna be get called to action. And now just Piper will just have to defend this keep. It's quite a, it's kind of important. Like that's a big stone. That's a lot of stone you can you can get from here. The more stone you have, the better map control you can have. Nest of Beasts. Almost arriving here. I don't know what kind of shot was that. Oh! Oh my god! That's nasty! That's just nasty, man. Whew. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. Man, Nest of Bees. Nest of Bees only challenge. That's nasty, man. That was gross to watch. Alright, so. Nine barracks already there. Looks like Poppy Bo it's getting ready to, to that classic UN Dynasty Palace Guards rating. Meanwhile, Nest of Beats still alive. It's uh, quite a good investment for him. Oh, it's kind of... Wow, that, that was nasty. I still can't, can't put my finger on it. Oh, man. But anyway, I'm gonna love the English, man. You lose a big batch of units. Here comes another one. Looks like Papi Pot doesn't know where his army is yet. Might as well try to put the nest of bees here. And bees is already <laughs> he already learned. You know what? Five sprinkles are really out for him. This is what you need. This is what you need. Elite army tactics coming soon for Papi Pal. And now the nest of bees. Oh my god, no! Oh, the nest of bees! One goes down. That looks like it's gonna it's gonna be only one. It's gonna be only one. <laughs> and as soon as you see the nest of bees, you're just gonna. You know, you know what? Are just gonna retreat the rest of the army. The ones who are already assigned to kill the nest of bees are just gonna. It's gonna try. It's gonna stay there to die. Bombard in the barbican of the sun. That's something I don't see every day. It's typically the landmark that gets kind of forgotten. But it's actually very nice because you can have a bombard, like pretty much a keep in your base. And you can repair it with wood, so even if you lose it, it's quite a good investment. You wanna, if you have a limited amount of uh, bombarding placements that you can uh, 
you can put in your keeps. Barbie gun is definitely uh, a good one. Definitely a good one. It's like Revolt the Green. Coming for BC. It's gonna melt. Gonna melt those those palace guards. Siege works. Coming for beasts as well. So have an extra extra health for those sprinkles. I don't know, I don't even know if the sprinkles are just gonna survive the nest of beasts. They're actually quite decent at taking down sprinkles. Like if you just target here with all those nests of beasts, probably you take down everything here. But beasts are just gonna be very, very careful. One wrong move. And those, ne those nests of beasts will just melt your army. Meanwhile, English having the time of their life. Berkshire. Just getting cannon emplacements. And that's what I call mass man at arms. Big wall coming here. Definitely what you need. It's a good thing for BC that Pavipal wasn't ready for that mass UN dynasty rate. I think he's gonna be fine now. I think he's gonna be fine now. Man, this is this is gonna be one of the last siege battles we are gonna see in Age of Empires 4 before the patch. This moment will be remembered as the last siege battle of Age of Empires 4. BC already securing that that stone. And Palascars will try to go for a raid, but gets intercepted by those hand cannoneers. Pulls back for the moment. Meanwhile, Piper getting all those upgrades. I just took a look at 12,000 gold. 12,000 gold in the bank. Actually, both players extremely rich. PC with... Do he doesn't get behind. He doesn't give you hand 7,000 gold. And they're both puff cap. Now this is a very interesting match. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't seen a match like this in a quite quite some time. Now BC very very safe with these walls. He knows how important that is. If those palace guards manage to get into the English economy, it's just gonna be really, really annoying. He knows how annoying that can be. Meanwhile, while BC don't have access to palace guards that didn't skip the legs day, he does have. A, a, he can potentially think about the mass horseman rate you usually see in the Imperial Age, and eventually transition to a lot of horsemen and just try to raid the Chinese. He's still kind of exposed. I mean, he doesn't have stone walls yet in all the map. You just need to get past this uh, nasty nest of beast group. And hand cannoneers. Just gonna be scaring away those Yuan Dynasty palace guards. Meanwhile, everyone's getting all those upgrades, you know? That's a good thing about when you're rich. Let's take a look at the university. Only two upgrades left. Let's take a look at Beastie University. Uh, pretty much the same upgrades. They're already queue all the upgrades. It's a kind of game like you get all the upgrades before you fight. It's usually when you you play that like the game like this when you just play Age of Empires. Like you're if you're in the Bronze League, all the players will like to play like this. It's like, oh man, I'm just gonna build the greatest empire. I'm gonna get all the upgrades. And when I get all the upgrades, I'm gonna get all the units. And when I get all the units, I'm gonna attack. <laughs> and that's that's how that. <laughs> That's how bro bronze players think. And that's, 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 at least that's how I think when I just got the game like a year ago. It's like... Uh, this is, I, I'm just gonna build my empire. I'm just gonna, gonna have the greatest empire in the world. Stone walls, keeps, saving resources. And then we're gonna go for it. And then you have these epic bronze battles. But this is the kind of battle that we're having in the top level now. 70,000 gold. Oh my god. Oh, Things are gonna get really nasty soon. I, I don't know when. 
Yeah, things are extreme. We're gonna get extremely nasty. I could potentially go for a wonder. To be honest, if you sell all this food, just just make a just make a keep here. Uh, may, uh, just just buy the stone and just go for the wonder. Actually, Papi Po is going for the wonder. Is he thinking about putting in here? Oh, this is a wonder. This is a wonder, guys. I didn't never expect to see a wonder in a 1v1 game. Mac, get 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 some popcorn ready. We're about to see the greatest match. The last siege battle. The entire game. I wonder if Beast is thinking about the same. Like, eh, I should go for a wonder. I know where this game is gonna go. Like, it's a super long meat grind fiesta. Mass nest of bees. Mass mana at arms. It's just gonna get really nasty. Happy ball. Slow but steady. Getting the stone he needs. Just need to have some space. Now, the problem with having the wonder here is that the army needs to go through the granaries. Now, there is plenty of gold for Papi Pot to survive 15 minutes in the game without getting the wonder kill. Just make it you gather the stone. <laughs> it's just making me so anxious. Oh my god. What is this game? <laughs> what the heck are you sitting in their base the whole time? We're 32 minutes into the game. Man, even English... Beastie getting elite... Elite knights. You usually don't see that. There's no more upgrades, guys. We're getting all the upgrades before... Before a fight. All the upgrades. Okay. Enough for a wonder. Are we gonna see it? Please. Tell me we're gonna see it. If this is not a wonder, I will be extremely disappointed. Wait a second. Is BC thinking about a wonder as well? He does like the stone, but he can sell some gold. The problem is... He, let's just say he's not as rich as Papipo. Papipo has four relics, has imperial officials, collect the tax for him. So this is not the same. You have the farms, which is amazing. But it just doesn't compare to four relics and and those taxes. Oh that that was personal, man. That was personal. Villagers fi f just finishing the Great Wall of the English. Please tell me you are going for a wonder. One of you needs to go for a wonder. But BC doesn't, doesn't have the gold to sell and actually get the stone. And there are no more resources in the map. I mean, at, at this point, who, who give a crap about the deer, to be honest? Okay. Okay. Looks like Papi Pot is not ready for for the wonder yet. Beastie starting to trade. The first traders, nothing like 154 workers, nothing like that. I mean, might as well finish the wall here just to make your trade safe. The good thing about the trade is that you can force the path with these walls. So you can put a wall here and the traders will be at the edge of the map and then potentially just finish it up here. More stone walls coming. Ah, oh, there you go. There's a wonder. That's the wonder, guys. Take a look at this. I never thought it will be come to a point where I will see a wonder in a 1v1 game. Almost okay, Ikun, what Ika 
This is a this is a mod this is a flexing match. This is how many how much money you have. And let me tell you, if there's someone who loves flexing, no one loves flexing more than the Chinese. No one. Meanwhile, Papi Pao knows that the thing that can stop a wonder victory, it's a secret side victory. So he needs to protect this this secret side at all costs. BC cancels the keep. And BC already have an objective. He can go for the wonder himself. Because he's already late. You have 13 minutes left. Well, at least we know when this match may potentially end. Hand Cannoneers is gonna be protecting those villagers. Looks like Beastie will be able to secure that town center. Town center. <laughs> the sacred site. Keep gonna be securing the middle, the middle site. I wonder where Beastie Gold went. Papi Pao sending all the villagers to take down all the infantry. Revolt the queen. Take it personal. It's like, get the hell out of here. And BC will be securing the sacred site in the middle. And soon we'll be able to sec protect the sacred site. Sorry, the sacred site in the south of the map and now in the middle. Have the priest coming really soon. Pipe Ball already there with the army in the middle. He knows how important this sacred site. He only, he only needs to do this for three more minutes. If he manage to defend those sacred sites, and uh, in three minutes, I think Beastie has no choice but to change the objective and just go for, go for the wonder. It's the. It's the first time I see a Wonder victory in the UI and I didn't know it had a progress bar. It's the first time I cast a game and they actually go for a Wonder. Now the progress bar looks wonderful, uh, except there is a harsh line here, I don't like it. But no, we can live with that, we can live with that, that's a lot of sprinkles. Gonna see the last epic battle. Nest of Beast just dealing quite a massive damage. Beastie not there yet. You don't want to lose your siege. Revolt the Queen will just scare the hell out of those infantry units. And Beastie with not so many man at arms. Not so many. Nest of Beast tries to take down the Sprinkles from the opponent. There's quite a lot of sprinkles coming from Papi Pao as well, so I think Beastie is gonna lose the sprinkle battle now. And with that, we will have to go for the drawing board. See, almost two minutes for Beastie to capture this secret site. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I really don't think that's gonna happen. Now, how much food do you need? 32,000 food. Really, Papi about going for a lot of spearmen. I'm not gonna be using that gold. I'm gonna be saving it for more important stuff. A bit busy mixing some Lombos now and more horsemen. Beastie deleting quite a lot of villagers. And so does Papi Pao. They are back. Beastie having 111 military units, Papi Pao 98. He's gonna have plenty of units soon. And now he doesn't care about the sacred site. There's no need to fight there. Just go and defend your wonder, because Sacred Side Victory is no longer an option 
for Beastie. He needs to go for that wonder. And you know, you, you can capture it. But... Like, the game finishes when the wonder uh, it's it's done. I'm gonna have to delete some farms for sure. And gold is gonna be an issue. Now, the, thing, the good thing about Beastie is that he has secured the trade. Or at least he has some trade going on for him. So he does have quite a lot of... Uh, already 12 traders in the map. He will have the golden units. We cannot say the same for Papi, but his gold economy is not the same. It's just really not the same. And... This will be quite... This will be quite a push. First thing first, getting down the Barbican. Oh my god, that's a... That's a nasty battle. My computer cannot handle it, guys. Four-year-old computer cannot handle this. Who needs Bobards when you have like 59 mana arms and 30 horsemen? A good thing that Papi Bow went for the Spearman. The question is who's gonna deal with the mana arms? It's kind of nears. It's just. They're just gonna do a lot of DPS. The problem is if you lose your mass, it will be very hard to replace those units. And BC knows how important those production buildings are. He knows reinforcements. It's gonna be the name of the... Wait a second. Beastie delete all his villagers. He's all in. He's 173 military units. Holy crap. And it is mostly horsemen. But that's a lot of Lombos. And, uh, you know, sometimes in life, you just gotta get all in. Mana times are already here. I'm basically like, you know what? I don't need Siege to deal with this. I just need a big mass of units. And a big mass of Lombos. Or are just gonna kill everyone here? The question is, does Beastie has enough for the reinforcement? Does... 170 military units is a lot. But you're not gonna get the reinforcements. Oh my god. This is crazy. You're not gonna get the reinforcements you need. When you need them. However, my people doesn't get behind. He's 63 workers, not the best amount of workers to replenish your army. He's heavily trusting that this Spearman mass is gonna is gonna hold. And Nest of Peace is you know they they're gone. They are gone. This is this is quite a this is quite a big army, guys. This is quite a big army. Now Bobby Brown just needs to go for it. Unfortunate for him that there is a choke point here. Those spearmen are just not gonna be doing as much as he as he wishes. But now that horsemen are not in the mind of Beastie, it's just gonna be pretty much mass mana at arms and lombos. Look at the number of spearmen, it's just decreasing a little by little. Rams are gonna be joining the party and BC is gonna be building some outpost and I can take it really slowly you don't wanna you don't wanna lose your army Nestos B is, could, could be fatal here Well, just more mana arms. Foot is not running out soon. 
77th horseman on the queue for Beastie. This is taking down. Eventually, you can also take down all the landmarks. How come we didn't talk about the pagodas here? We were talking about the greediest game of 2024. We didn't talk about the. We didn't talk about the pagodas. And now puppy ball. Slow but steady, getting closer and closer to the. To the to the wonder and unfortunately he built the outpost in a wrong position so the outposts aren't just not gonna be defending that wonder but he's still three minutes left three minutes left for Papi Paw. is he gonna hold that's a lot of hand cannoneers death of peace doing quite a lot of damage But, I mean, one Nest of Beasts is just not enough here. You know what you would love to have? That Nest of Beasts that you had at the beginning? That would be lovely here. But more Horsemen coming. And Pipey Pot, this is, this is an all-in kind of type of move as well. He's losing all the villagers. And unlike Beastie, he doesn't have more resources for replenish the army. So that's BC. He does have gold, but he's already like, that's all I got. That's all I got here. Plenty of rams coming. 17 rams. Lombos slow but steady. Lombos gonna be the MVP on this game. They're just gonna be so much, doing so much damage. And rams, amazing path. There's a problem with these ramps that they never find the right way to take down a building. And Papi Pop with 24 hand cannoneers left. Now, I'm not a mathematician, but I think 150, around 150 military units, it's gonna melt 36. Two minutes left for the wonder victory. There's plenty of rams here. Can cannoneers are just gonna go down to 14. The keep will go down. And horseman is just gonna be the mid shield. One minute left. Not so many rams left for Beastie, but. There's also not so many units for Papi Pot to kill those rams. And if rams cannot do the job, maybe that Man at Arms and the Horseman can do it. We won't see the Wonder destroyed. What an epic game, guys. What an epic game. Wow. That was amazing. 